So today is a heavy squat day. I worked up to uh, th two triples here at 455 with my knee sleeves on. Um, did my usual warm up with uh, tens and eights and fives up to uh, about 315 and then went singles to 405. And then uh, put the belt on around 405 as well. Um, side view here just to check on depth. What do you guys think? Am I low enough? I mean, that's uh, that's actually kind of a higher uh, depth than usual for my squats. I usually get a bit lower than that, but I've uh, been trying to actually keep it up a little bit to not have to bounce out of the hole so much. Then I went up to 5.05, uh, put knee wraps on, did a, did a two and a half meter uh, Iron Rebel knee wraps. Um, no pre-stretch on this. Liked the squats as far as technique went. Uh, speed could have been a little better, um, but I'm always pretty critical about speed. Ended up doing another single after that. Uh, left a lot in the tank. Probably could have gone up, but uh, decided to just hit my goal and move on. Um, then pause squats. Going to keep incorporating pause squats because they seem to just be really good for me. Um, I actually want to pause them a little bit higher than I'm doing right now. That's why I vi videoed from the side so I could check this out. It, you know, I seem to actually be be working harder on a pause squat if I have it a little bit higher. And then uh, the killer deadlift variant for me of deadlifting to the knees, pausing, and then finishing. Got this, you know, Shiko, Shaco, how do you pronounce it? Um, has this in the program and I really liked it. It really seemed to affect my weak spot which is lower mid back around the knee and gonna keep pounding on this variant because it just seems to work wonders for my deadlift and hopefully it will translate. Um, you know, being raw now as opposed to having a suit to get me past my knees you know, I didn't really have any issues getting off the floor. Um, still don't have issues getting off the floor, but that mid-transition point has is, is always been a weakness. 